This spindle error analyzer tech note describes how to use the lathe adapter or turning center adapter for, with the Lion Precision Spindle Error Analyzer. This is the adapter itself. This large shaft here, the shank goes into the tool holder on the turret. Uh, the probe nest, which is now sitting on the, on the stand for the machining center, will remove that and will mount it onto this area right here. Once it's mounted, we'll clamp it loosely and then we'll use the screw, adjustment screw over here to move it back and forth. Most, many turning centers don't have adjustments in Y and this allows just enough adjustment in Y to be able to center the probe on the master ball once it's mounted in the fixture. So we'll start with the disassembly of the, um, of the five probe nest from the base over here that was used on a machining center. There's just three screws here on the bottom. Spin those out. And then these two will separate. There's a couple of uh, locating pins in here, dowel pins in here, so that uh, when it goes together, all the alignments are, are good. And then we bring it over and set it into the uh, lathe adapter. And you have to watch to make sure that the alignment where the probe goes into the hole here, the probe actually goes in, the cable goes down inside the hole, and then comes up and exits through the groove here on the side. So I'll do that uh, sitting up here. And as you can see here, I've done it wrong. So we'll just take it out and we just keep rotating here until we get it right. This looks like a pretty good uh, possibility. So we want to jam a little bit of that cable down in there so it has a chance to bend and come back up again. So now you can see the probe nest is now mounted onto the uh, lathe adapter. I should say it's setting on there. It's not really mounted yet. To firmly mount it, we have these three screws that go on from the bottom. Put those up from the bottom. And we'll just tighten those, finger tight and back off just a little bit so that this will still slide back and forth on here. Show you what it looks like from the back side here. Three screws, here's the adjustment mechanism over here. So now it's uh, more or less, it is clamped in place or mounted in place. And uh, it's a little bit too tight, just back them off a little bit and then we'll be able to slide this back and forth on here. So we'll mount it on the machine and then adjust it in the Y direction, the same way you center the ball in the machining center, except now we're going to manually be moving the probes in front of the ball and looking for the peak. You can tighten the screw to move it one direction, push it in. There's no spring return, so as you loosen the screw, you have to pull it back manually. It's got a fairly good range of motion, should be enough to center the probe in the Y direction. When you do get it in place, you just tighten the screws on the bottom and the screws on the side here. So the turning center adapter, or the lathe adapter, is used uh, when you need to mount into a turret type tool mount that allows or provides for a rigid mounting so you can uh, eliminate any motion between the probe mount itself and the spindle. Because when you measure a spindle, you're always measuring the displacement or the motion between the spindle and the, uh, and the probe. And if there's any motion there, you'll see that motion. So if there's vibration in the probe mount, probe mount it shows up as error in the spindle. That's why we go to such great pains to make a stiff yet adjustable mount.